All right, Peaky Blinders, I've watched it. I finished it all, all five seasons that are out. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this show. But there are some things though that I gotta get off my chest here. First off, it is a very good show, very enjoyable, probably eight and a half out of 10. Really do enjoy it, really do like it. But I feel like there is just a disconnect. Being an American watching this show, there's just something that I'm just never buying into because it's just very British, obviously. And there's just something about this show that, I don't know, there's just a weird disconnect in this show that I don't feel when I watch other kind of mob type shows like The Sopranos or Boardwalk Empire. But this one, I do. There's just a little bit of a disconnect. Now, I enjoy all the characters, all the storylines, set designs, cinematography, all amazing but there's just something that's kind of missing maybe because i'm just not british i think that's what it is there's just a piece missing where when i watch the sopranos or boardwalk empire there's that kind of that connection like i i guess i understand the struggles a bit better where with this one there's just a bit of a disconnect not a knock on the show but that's just my personal feelings on that but overall the show is very very good and i see why everyone has really enjoyed watching it on netflix and the bbc for the past five six years it's really great especially in a binge watching format that's the best way to do it and i really do enjoy it especially tommy shelby and arthur shelby awesome arthur's probably my favorite character due to his just dr jekyll mr hyde attitude about everything and how he's such a broken man through half of it but he still does what he has to do. And he honestly just has some great one-liners too. And he's just brutal as they come. It's just great. It is honestly an awesome show to watch. So many great characters. This isn't gonna be an in-depth review because there's just so many things to touch on. I, I just don't wanna touch on everything. I just pretty much wanna say, it's a very enjoyable show. You should check it out. Some of my favorite characters, of course, Tommy and Arthur, and of course, Alfie, who's played by Tom Hardy. Great, great job by Tom Hardy. What a weird, odd character Alfie is, but he honestly brings something so unique to the show. And it's always amazing to have him on screen doing his weird mumble acting type deal. And he's just an odd duck, the Alfie character. And he's great. It is honestly awesome. And this show does a very good job kind of showing how Tommy becomes powerful. Like it kind of starts with them coming back from World War I. And they're powerful enough in their small little area to becoming, you know, one of the most powerful people in all of England and all this stuff. But like I said, it just falls a little short to me compared to Boardwalk Empire and or The Sopranos. Boardwalk Empire is probably the better comparison. And it just falls a little bit short. And it's not to their fault. I just think literally it's the connection between being an American and watching this and being an American and watching an American based show. That's all it is. There's no real other thing than that's kind of the only thing that just doesn't grasp me totally. And it's not a knock. It's just one of those weird things. So I'm not really super into drama shows that are just drama. And when I say that drama shows that I watch are shows like Sons of Anarchy, the Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire, Peaky Blinders, Breaking Bad. That is what I consider a drama. Yes, there's killing in it and so forth, but that is a drama to me. I don't watch your ABC sitcoms that are dramas or your soap operas that are dramas. So these are what I consider dramas. And this is one of the better dramas I have watched because the other shows I watch are of course like Star Trek and so forth. You've seen all the other stuff on my channel. So this is one of the better dramas I have watched and I do find it more enjoyable than Breaking Bad. Yes, I know a lot of people are gonna get angry about that, but I don't love Breaking Bad. I don't find it to be this masterpiece that everyone just gawks over on the internet. Everyone loves Breaking Bad. And yes, it's a very good show. A lot of great things in it but I just don't love it. I really don't. It's not as great as what people make it out to be. Maybe because I haven't watched it in a long time. I watched it when I was younger, but I still just don't even wanna go back to watch it. I watched it once in my life and I, I'm good. I'm good. It's just meh. I don't wanna go back to go watch it. I just don't. It is what it is. We get the point of it. Where the Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire, and even Peaky Blinders, I can see myself going back and rewatching it and hell the sopranos i have rewatched it all twice it's great best show there ever is when it comes to a drama like peaky blinders is very good very enjoyable but if you want to watch a show that's completely elite that's the sopranos seriously the sopranos is an amazing amazing show and i cannot vouch for that show enough now it is a little old now it came out in 99 went to believe 2007 but it is still 
an elite television show. If you have not watched The Sopranos, go out and watch that before you watch anything else. I know this is a Peaky Blinders review, but seriously, go out and watch it. So getting back to Peaky Blinders, the show revolves around the Peaky Blinders. So the Shelby family and kind of the, all their shenanigans that they get into in the crime world and in the businesses that they're trying to get that are clean. And it starts in 1919, shortly after World War I ends and kind of how the world and England's picking up the pieces from that. And then it progresses all the way to 1929 here in season five. And it starts off with, of course, Black Tuesday when the stock market crashed in 1929. And everything in between that is just the Shelby family rising to power, mainly Tommy and everything he has to deal with through all the different people he has to defeat and win over and screw over and so forth. And it is very, very interesting and how all of their methods of operations and how what they think is right and wrong and all that stuff. It's really interesting to see kind of the English side of what was going on in the 1920s compared to like say Bordock Empire where the American side was going on in the 1920s. It was really cool to see, really interesting to watch. And like I said before, it is an eight and a half out of 10 for me. I really did enjoy this. I just think that there's not much more you're gonna be able to do with this show. I'm glad that the creator kind of talked about season six, season seven, it's probably gonna be the, the wrap up of the show. And I'm glad for that because there's only so much you can do with these crime shows. And I feel like less is more in a lot of ways. And I feel like they're really getting close to kind of the cap of this thing where the storyline that they left off with, it, it, this is probably the last storyline that they're gonna get with because it's just the, the time frame of everything going on in the world within the show, the ages of the characters and everything, it, it's getting close to the end here. Now, I don't have really that many wild predictions of what's gonna happen, but I think there will be a time jump from when the last scene we see in season five to when season six gonna pick up. And season six will probably mainly Tommy figuring out who screwed him over and my my guess is probably Michael and what he's going to end up doing and then he'll end up having to make a hard decision that way and then we'll see if he'll be able to defeat the main guy he's been kind of going against in season five in season six and then we'll see where it kind of goes from there into season seven I think there'll be even more time jumps through there I have a feeling that this show is going to end right around 1939 when Poland got invaded by Nazi Germany. Now, I don't really know why I feel that way, but I feel like that would be kind of an interesting ending because this last season, season five, it definitely has kind of some some Nazi feels with the, the dude who's kind of coming to power. And it'd be interesting if that kind of weaves into the Nazi party at the in the 1930s, going to the 1940s. And maybe this is the guy that Tommy can't defeat, or he does, but it really, it doesn't make a difference because things are already in motion and things are going to happen if you want to keep it kind of within the real world but we'll see i of course see tommy dying either they can go two ways they either could kill him by a bad guy killing him or he's gonna die kind of a walter white death he's gonna die of lung cancer or something like that which depending either way i'm cool with it just depending how far the story goes that's kind of really what it depends on but like I said, I feel like the story is going to kind of roughly end at the end of the 1930s and the Peaky Blinders are going to fall out of power. Tommy's going to get killed or he's going to die in one way or another. And then it'll be interesting to see how much they tie in the real world within the fictional world of the Peaky Blinders and how it all kind of meshes together. I know there's a lot of rambling in this video, but like I said in the beginning, I really don't want to go into an in-depth review of Peaky Blinders. If you're interested in it, check it out. There's only six episodes per season. It's an easy watch. It's very enjoyable. The action picks up nearly instantly. Like the first three episodes, stuff gets rolling and you get what's going on. It's an easy watch. It's enjoyable. Definitely check it out. So if you had to rate Peaky Blinders out of 10, what would you rank it as? Let me know down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, everyone have a great day. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.